At 1 o'clock December 28, 1938, Florence Lawrence phoned to MGM, the studio that she's working for, to report that she's not going to be able to work today. But that was a lie. She took a piece of paper, then started writing, Dear Bob, call Dr. Wilson. I'm tired. You know this guy and this lady. This gentleman. Those are the movie stars that it make us considering before we watch movies. It used to be so different. In my previous video, Life in American Fireman, as I have mentioned that this movie changed two revolutionary things in the movie, in the cinema industry. You remember that Risky Girl? It was her first film and she wasn't aware that she's gonna be the first movie star ever. And how did it happen? After this movie, this short movie, Odin started worrying about that girl. And they started calling her Risky Girl on the second movie the girl with the hat. People didn't know what to call the actors and actresses in the cinema because director names, actor names, actresses names, they weren't being mentioned on the poster or the movie credits. All the studio names like Warner Bros, MGM and etc. Studios didn't want to mention the actor and actress's name. People would start demanding higher salaries. But the curiosity of the audience, the people, it undermined that policy. She started working in biograph studios that made her famous. The people started calling her biograph girl. When the cinema started making money, industry already started having different strategies to grab the audience. In biograph studios, a guy called Lemley planted a story in newspapers that claimed Lawrence had been struck and killed by a car. And a while after, they posted in the newspaper, We Nail Live. That was a promotion of the Lawrence that she's not dead and she's gonna be starring in a new movie. And this story made her much more famous than before. And it was the birth of a movie star lifestyle. Hundreds of people came to see the Lawrence. There was a meeting. Lawrence on that time even fainted because this kind of fan, this kind of audience attention has never been happened before. A star was born. And from that point, it was a downfall of her personal life and the career. It wasn't easy digesting the fame. She was injured while filming a movie, had to stack on the bed for her illness. Her marriage fell apart. Lawrence was learning the downsides of being a celebrity. By the time she recovered and was ready for her comeback, six years had passed. Studios no longer recognized her name. Her second marriage failed during that time. Her third marriage ended when her alcoholic husband abused her. Her health went down mentally and physically. And when we look at our celebrities nowadays, there are absolutely painful aspects of this life. <laughs> stay away from anything that makes a bunch of people stare at you while you're in a restaurant. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, yep. I'm stuck with this shit I didn't want in the first place. That's trash. At 1 o'clock December 28, 1938, Florence Lawrence called her studio MGM to report that she's not going to be able to work because she is sick. But that was a lie. She took a piece of paper and a pen, started writing a letter to her roommate. Dear Bob, call Dr. Wilson. I'm tired. And she committed a suicide. She poisoned herself. She couldn't take the fame anymore. She was the first movie star ever. She was the first movie star who committed a suicide. Rest in peace, Lawrence. I'll see you guys around.